Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm going to show you how to turn boring clips into high energy, eye-catching edits that pop and keep your viewers hooked. So grab some water, sit back, and let's dive right in. So right here inside of Premiere Pro, I already have all my footage lined up and cut up. And what we're gonna do first is add an adjustment layer. So if you guys don't know how to do that, basically you come to the project panel right here, you gotta right click it, click new item, and click adjustment layer, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna drag this in over our footage, and we're gonna make it six frames long. So we're just gonna cut it just like this, and it's right in the center of our clip. So for the first transition we're gonna do, we're gonna make this crazy like wipe up effect from my preset pack. I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate it. So this is what what it looks like it looks pretty sick and I'm gonna show you guys how to make that so what you're gonna do first is add transform to your footage right here you're gonna come right here uncheck this box and make the shutter angle 180 you're gonna add brightness and contrast to it as well right here in the middle of our clip we're gonna up the brightness to like 60 and the contrast something like 54 we're gonna keyframe both of those and we're gonna go right to the beginning of our adjustment layer and reset same thing for the end of the adjustment layer reset so we have this like flash going on and what we're gonna do now is add offset. Once that is on, we're gonna go right to the beginning of our adjustment layer and we're gonna keyframe the shift center too. And we're gonna go right to the end and we're just gonna up that a ton, but we can't really see what's going on. So we're gonna move that one frame in and we're just gonna scale that up a ton. And then you just wanna line it up with your footage and we're just gonna bring this keyframe back just like that. So we have this like wipe going on. And as you guys can see, it's pretty choppy, it doesn't look super good. So what we're gonna do is add directional blur to add some motion blur and bring everything together. So in our effects, we're gonna search for directional blur. And right in the middle of our clip right here, what we're gonna do is increase the blur length a ton to something like 270, something really crazy. And you guys can play with the angle, whatever looks fine for you guys. But since it is like a wipe up, we're gonna leave it at zero. So we're gonna keyframe those values and we're gonna go back and reset and same thing at the end right there. So we're gonna get this kind of effect now. So as you guys can see, we get this like crazy wipe up. This is what it looks like without the effect and this is what it looks like with it. So yeah, as you guys can see, it looks super clean, looks super nice and we're gonna hop right into the next effect right here. So what we're gonna do is drag in another uh, six frame long adjustment layer right here and we're gonna put that right in between our footage. So drag on brightness and contrast to your adjustment layer and right here in the middle, right where the clip splits, we're gonna bring that up to like 70 and bring the contrast up to like 45 just like that. And we're gonna keyframe both of those values. We're gonna go back one frame, reset, grab these keyframes right here that has the brightness, paste, go back to the beginning, reset. And you're just gonna do that throughout the entire footage. So paste and reset right here at the end. So we're gonna get this kind of flickering effect right there. It looks super cool. We can even add some like directional blur in between each flash to make it look a lot cooler. So we're gonna go back to effects and search for directional blur. So on each flashing keyframe, you're gonna want to make it blurred out. So right here, there's no flash. So zero and zero, go one frame ahead and make the blur length 30 is just fine. You guys can even play with the direction if you guys want, but I think I'm gonna leave it like 75 looks cool. So just like that, you're gonna go one frame ahead, reset, grab these middle keyframes, paste, reset, paste and reset. So this is the effect that we're gonna get. This effect is so easy to make and it looks super, super cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this second effect, guys. And we're gonna hop right into the third one. So right here for this third effect, we're gonna drag in another six frame long adjustment layer. And the first thing we're gonna do is add transform. So first thing that you're gonna do is uncheck this box, make the shutter angle 180. You're gonna make sure that you're in the middle of your adjustment layer and you're gonna bring up the scale to like 150 keyframe that go right back to the beginning reset and same thing for the end right here so this is what it's going to start looking like it's pretty simple but we're going to add a bit more things to make it look a lot nicer we're going to add uh, some flashing so go back to your effects and search for brightness and contrast once again drag that onto the adjustment layer come right here to the middle up the brightness and the contrast as well something like like this looks nice you're going to keyframe that and then you're going to go back to the beginning of your clip and reset and same thing for the end right here so this is what it's gonna start looking like we have like this little flash going on and we can even make the image jitter a bit so what we're gonna do is play with the uh, positioning while it zooms in so right here at the beginning we're gonna keyframe the position and we're gonna go one frame ahead and we're gonna move it to the side a bit. And what you're gonna do basically is on every single keyframe, you're gonna try to move the positioning either up, down to the side, left to right, whatever you guys want, just to make it shake and in order to get the image to kind of bounce around during the whole transition. So that is basically what I'm gonna be doing right here. I'm gonna play around with all the values ever so slightly to just get the image to bounce around and you know, try to uh, not keep everything so static. So this is what it's gonna start to look like. As you guys can see, we have this like little jitter effect going on. So that's pretty much it for this third effect right here. It's super seamless, 
really easy to make. It just adds a lot more to your footage. If I were to turn this off, as you guys can see, it just looks pretty flat. And if I just put this back on, it just instantly brings it to life. So yeah, that is it for this third effect. And that is gonna be the end of the video. So if you guys liked this tutorial, don't forget to drop a comment down below, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your guys' support means a lot. And check out my website. I'll have it linked down below if you guys wanna buy my Energy V1 preset pack so you guys can just instantly have all of these shakes, hits and wipes, drag and drop instead of making them. It saves a lot of time. It's only 10 bucks. So pretty much a no brainer if you guys wanna speed up your work flow and make everything look a lot nicer. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.